Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to clone your macOS Big Sur or above onto a new storage device and make it bootable by using Harman Copy Cloner 6 edition as you can see here. Now a little bit about my system, I'm using macOS Monterey as you can see here, version 12.1. Before going into Carbon Copy Cloner, however, you want to tweak some privacy settings under System Preferences. So just go to Security and Privacy under System Preferences and locate a menu item called Full Disk Access. Now just unlock your System Preferences and drag the Carbon Copy Cloner icon into the list of apps that has Full Disk Access. And you can exit out of system preferences and continue with the process. After launching our application, we want to go to source device and choose our system drive, Macintosh HD in my case. And over here on destination device, in my case, I'm going to choose Monterey. That's a drive I created especially for this project. Now, your destination device doesn't have to take on the name Monterey specifically. You can name it whatever you want. And as for formatting, you can choose whatever format you want because Carbon Copy Cloner will format the drive for you later on in the process before it begins copying. Next, we want to left click the drive and in the menu, we want to select Legacy Bootable Backup Assistant. That will bring up a menu something like this. And in the menu, you want to locate allow CCC to erase your destination volume. In my case, Monterey. After clicking that, safety net will be disabled and you are ready to start your cloning process. Now just click start and Carbon Copy Cloner will do the rest for you. Now, right before it finishes, it will ask you for the permission to access a removable volume, that's your destination drive. It will create the files necessary for it to boot properly. Now that our drive is done, go ahead and click OK and exit out of Carbon Copy Cloner. Now you're ready to restart your Mac. Now, after shutting down your Mac, you want to power it back on. For Intel systems, after pressing the power button, and when you see the Apple logo, just hold down the Option key. But since I'm on M1, I'm just going to continue holding down my Touch ID sensor to load startup options. And this page will load in all the drives that my Mac think is bootable. And sure enough, Monterey over here is one of them. So I'm just gonna select continue. And this will take us straight into the operating system on my external bootable SSD. And I'm in. Now enter the password for your old OS, your clone OS basically. The password should be the same. Now I got all my apps firing up and it's asking me over here to enter my password to unlock Macintosh data because I use Fireball on my system. So I'm just gonna enter my password.
and the disk is unlocked. Okay. Now to verify that I'm in the external OS. Okay, I got all my apps. We go into Finder. As a bootable volume, for example, my passport has an eject button right next to it, but Monterey now as the main system disk does not. And another way we can know is by looking at the the folders. The drive that macOS boots from gets these specific icons, so you will know that macOS is booted from that disk. So when I normally boot up from Macintosh HD, the, the icons will be on these folders, but now since I'm booted from Monterey, the, the icons are here, as you can see. So that's it for this video. My clone is successful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.